Thank you for coming today and welcome and bienvenidos to Communicare Health Center's Salute Clinic. I'm Robin Afrime, CEO of Communicare Health Centers, which has eight clinic sites throughout Yolo County, and we provide care to over 23,000 people, which is one in every nine people in the county. Communicare is both a community health center and a migrant health center, and we provide comprehensive health care services to low income and underinsured residents of Yolo County, including seasonal and migrant farm worker families. Health centers and migrant health centers have a long history of providing primary and preventive health care services to underserved populations, and California health centers care for nearly 600,000 migrant farm workers each year. So we do understand how important the Robert F. Kennedy Farm Workers Medical Plan is to our patients and our community. The RFK Medical Plan allows caregivers to focus on primary and preventive care, which is extremely essential for such an underserved population. Because of the migratory and seasonal nature of farm work and the inherent health risk associated with the work, this is a very unique population of families. Farm worker families often experience many barriers to accessing, to accessing preventive care, but we, as we know, preventive care is essential to protect the individual and the larger community, which also can bear the burden when health care costs spiral as a result of untreated illness or injury. I want to thank Dr. Richard Pan for authoring this important public health bill that will ensure our clients continue to receive the care that they need. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so very much. Um, and I really appreciate uh, you collaborating with us on this very important issue. And I want to thank everyone for being here uh, this morning. I particularly want to thank Arturo Rodriguez, President of the United Farm Workers of America, who was proud to work with on SB 145. And certainly we are all grateful to the governor for signing this important bill. But most of all, I want to thank our farm workers, many of who are here. Migrant and, farm, migrant and farm workers are the lifeblood of California's agricultural industry, and we all depend on them. Whenever we enjoy the bounty of California farms, <laughs> whenever we enjoy the bounty of California farms, we must not forget the strenuous manual labor and frequently dangerous conditions performed by farm workers who har plant, harvest, and package the food we enjoy. And I'm proud to have marched with the farm workers and the UFW and Galt and Elk Grove and Sacramento in 2011 when they fought to expand a collective bargaining rights for more farm workers here in California. Farm workers travel from farm to farm in many different counties, making access to health care often difficult without a health plan that's specific to their needs. Fortunately, the Robert F. Kennedy Farm Worker Medical Plan is such a plan. And this health plan is paid for by employer employee contributions, and it covers basic, everything from basic office visits to physical therapy. For our migrant farm and farm workers and their families who literally do our back-breaking back labor on our farmlands, this plan is a necessity. And SB 145 will ensure that farm workers and their families will be able to continue to receive care under the RFK medical plan. Without SB 145, the RFK medical plan could not continue, and farm workers would be forced into our Medi-Cal program, costing taxpayers more money while lowering access to care for farm workers. The insurance reforms in the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, improved coverage for Californians, including providing tax subsidies to businesses for covering their low-income employees, but unfortunately did not provide additional assistance to workers in Taft-Hartley plans including the RFK medical plan. SB 145 allows California to provide essential financial assistance until the RFK medical plan makes the transition to meet, to ensure that they meet all the ACA requirements. And this solution allows the state to keep 25 million in agricultural employer and farm worker contributions flowing into health care, saving the taxpayers money. This is a win-win for our state. And I'm honored to work with the UFW, the United Farm Workers, on this important bill. That will mean that 16,000 farm workers and their families will get the health care they deserve. Now I'm pleased to welcome the President of the United Farm Workers, Arturo Rodriguez, who has dedicated his life to fight for fairness and justice for farm workers and for all working peoples. Thank you. 
Thank, Thank you very much, Lucas. Thank you. So good morning. We very much, first of all, just want to thank the farm workers that traveled here from Salinas, California. They work for a company called Dole Berry. They're strawberry workers, and they've joined us here today. Luis, Maria, Anselma, Santiago, Jose have all joined to, to be here with Dr. Pan, with Robin, who were very pleased to be here at your clinic and hear all the great work that you're doing and with Lino Pedres from the president of the Sacramento Salinas Labor, uh, Sacramento Central Labor Council, and Juanita, a longtime supporter of ours with CRLA. We're here to celebrate SB 145, great health care for farm workers that will actually subsidize the state general fund. Governor Jerry Brown signed SB 145 into law. Second, we are here to express our sincere gratitude for making it happen to the author of Senate Bill 145, Senator Richard Pan, and to also thank his chief of staff, Crystal Strait, his legislative director, Bernadette Lawrence, and his legislative aide, Elisa Ochida. SB 145 addresses the dilemma that the Affordable Care Act permanently excludes undocumented immigrants from using their own money to purchase health insurance on the ACA exchanges. That means that hundreds of thousands of farm workers can only access taxpayer subsidized health care when they are forced to turn to emergency rooms where care is very expensive after they become very ill or injured. Cesar Chavez created the Robert F. Kennedy Farm Worker Medical Plan in the 1960s. It is unique. A board of farmer and farm worker representatives govern the plan. Both farmers and farm workers contribute money for every hour worked into the RFK medical plan, which then pays medical bills for 16,000 farm worker family members. Last year, this farmer farm worker trust paid out $25 million in medical costs and benefits. The RFK plan is not for profit. It is low 5% administrative overhead, beats any standard anywhere in America. SB 145, now signed into law, will allow the RFK medical plan to continue to provide great health care for farm workers, great health care that is preventive for farm workers and their families, meets special farm worker needs like chiropractor care to manage the pain that comes with grueling physical work and catastrophic care in times of crises and emergencies. At the same time, SB 145 caps state costs at $3 million for the next four years while securing continued farmer and farm worker contributions of no less than $25 million per year. The end result will be a success story. California will save $30 million for its general fund. Farm workers and their families will have at least $125 million in health care paid for by employers and workers. And all of this will happen without waiting for any changes in the Affordable Care Act in Washington, D.C. For all of that, we have the California State Legislature and Governor Brown and his administration to thank. And a special thank you again to Dr. Pan and his staff. Without SB 145, none of this would exist. And now it's a real honor and a pleasure to introduce two women that are recipients of the Robert F. Kennedy Medical Plan that uh, work with the company Doleberry and that drove up here with other workers from Salinas. And I'll ask Maria Reyes and Anselma Barrios. Por favor, si Maria y Anselma pueden pasar aquí adelante. Primeramente, Maria va a hablar y va a dar su testimonio y Michelle lo va a traducir la, la información. First, uh, Maria Reyes will speak and talk about her experiences and give her testimony and uh, Michelle will be translating for her. Uh, primeramente, uh, mi nombre es María Reyes, vengo del área de Salinas, trabajo para Dolberry, uh, este, represento a mi cuadrilla, 
Este, y primeramente vengo a dar las gracias en este, nombre de todos mis compañeros que trabajamos para Dolberry. Este, y quiero darle gracias al senador Ricardo Pan por haber hecho posible esto que ha conseguido para el plan médico, que es una importancia para nosotros, mantener un plan médico, este, porque hoy en día nuestro salario no nos da para comprar un plan médico. Y este... Hi everyone, uh, my name is Maria Reyes. I work with the company Dolberry. I traveled here today from Salinas, California. First of all, I'd like to thank Senator Pan for introducing SB 145. Uh, my family and I are recipients of the RFK plan, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience. Uh, antes que nada, mi experiencia es que he tenido dos operaciones, y este, gracias al plan médico que tenemos de Robert Kennedy, este, mis gastos médicos han sido cubiertos y estoy muy contenta porque tengo un plan seguro para mis hijos. So first of all, the RFK plan has helped me tremendously in my own personal life. I have now had two major surgeries, um, and because of the deductibles that were, we were able to keep them low, I was able to have these procedures for low cost. In addition, my family also receives the benefits of the RFK plan. Uh, uh, antes que nada, pues este, le quiero dar gracias otra vez al senador Ricardo Pan y al senador que es, hicieron posible por esto. Este, y Once again, I'd like to thank again Senator Richard Pan who made all of this possible. Y otra vez, este, quiero dar gracias a Dios por poner este, estas personas que están pensando en nosotros los campesinos y gracias a la Unión por darme la oportunidad de estar hoy en día este, representando a mis compañeros, hablando del plan bueno que tenemos y creo que es todo. I'd like to thank God again for putting these folks, uh, these legislators that help protect farm workers like myself and we hope to continue working forward together. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Anselma Barrios. My name is Anselma Barrios. Vengo de la compañía Dolberry. I'm here for, with the company uh, Dolberry. Soy representante de mi cuadrilla. Vengo de Salinas. I'm representing my coworkers from Salinas area. El propósito que estoy aquí en, es, en este día es para darles gracias. The reason I'm here today is to give thanks al señor Ricardo Pan. I'd like to thank Senator Richard Pan y a la Unión de Campesinos por la ayuda que nos han brindado. And for what the UFW has been able to accomplish here. Porque sin esa ayuda el plan médico es muy caro. Without this help Health care is very expensive. Y el trabajador, el trabajo que tenemos no es suficiente para comprar un seguro médico. The work that we do, unfortunately, does not allow us to be able to purchase health insurance. Y en mi experiencia que he pasado también, es que yo tuve una cirugía muy grave y, y yo voy a ocupar la la aseguranza de por vida y también mis compañeros también la necesitan mucho. In my experience, I've had to have a major surgery. Wouldn't have been possible without this health care. Uh, this is also the situation for many of my coworkers that do not have access to health care. Y, y les pedimos que nos sigan apoyando, que nos sigan, que nos sigan ayudando en el plan médico porque es para nosotros es un plan que pues nos ayuda mucho a la familia. We continue to ask for the support of everyone here to continue to provide uh, this health insurance for many of us. We, we need it as workers. Y que gracias a su ayuda 
Vamos a seguir manteniendo este plan médico. And thanks to the efforts that were made here, we're going to be able to continue to have health insurance. Y les doy gracias a todos los que nos apoyaron en este plan. And I want to give thanks to everyone that helped us uh, with the support of this health care plan. Gracias. So uh, again, I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, Robin for allowing us to be here at the Salud Clinic. Uh, our, our good chair of uh, the Central Labor Council here in Sacramento, Lino Pedres, thank you so very much. And uh, also the president of the United Farm Workers, Rodriguez, and all the farm workers who took your time. Thank you so much. Gracias. Thank you so much for taking your time here. So uh, with that, I'd be happy to open up for questions. I don't hear any questions. Uh, may I just say finally, you know, as a physician, um, getting access to health care is not just for the person who gets access to health care, it helps our entire community. And many times, you know, as we look at the food we eat here, we think about the health benefits of that food. We should think about the health of the people who actually made it possible for it to get to your table. So I'm very proud to author this bill. And I again want to thank everyone for being here and I really again want to thank the governor for signing for signing SB 145 and that we can continue this very important plan. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Se puede. Si se puede. Se puede. Si 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 se puede.